To the shock and awe of, I'm sure, everyone, I got more books. This first book is from my favorite neighborhood bookstore, Skylight Books. 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea by Jules Verne. I actually bought this for my husband as he's read it and loves it. I've never read it before, but I need to, and I now have it in a drool-worthy Cloud Classic Edition. I love this collection. My one concern is I'd probably want to read this book during lunch at work, and I wouldn't want to cart this around in my tote as I want it to remain pretty. So I may read it for the first time on my Kindle as it's out of copyright so I can get it for free. But then I have this beautiful copy at home that I can read to my future kids or something. The rest of these books are a continuation of my adventures in library book sale scrounging. First, I picked up these hardbacks of a couple of Harry Potter books that are missing their covers. I don't own this series yet because I keep wanting to buy the full hardback collection, and then I see how expensive it is, and I put it off. So in the meantime, I picked these up. I figure when I actually do end up buying the full beautiful in mint condition series, these can go on my giveaway shelf that I set up in my last book haul. So, in specific, these two are Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix and Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. These are actually both first editions, which is pretty awesome, but without the covers, they probably won't ever be worth that much, but still cool. Cat, what you doing? What you doing? Seriously, shh, we're book hauling. I also found mismatched members of the Chronicles of Narnia. I have an all-in-one version of the Chronicles of Narnia, um, but I kind of regret getting it. It's so big and awkward, you don't want to read out of it. Eventually, I'll find a beautiful, complete collection, but until then, I'm kind of enjoying this mismatched set I'm creating. Okay, so first off, I got... Prince Caspian in the Teacher's Edition. So I'll be able to totally cheat the next time someone quizzes me on Prince Caspian. Then I got The Horse and His Boy. This edition was obviously released in tandem with the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe movie coming out in 2005, per what the sticker says at least. I also love that this cover is trying really hard to capitalize on the success of The Lord of the Rings. Eh. So this is actually my favorite of the series. It's really whimsical. The last Chronicles of Narnia book I got is the last in the series, The Last Battle. This is the same edition that my childhood library had this series in. I kind of want for nostalgia's sake to see if I can get a complete set in this edition. The Last Battle though. This book is kind of trippy. It's just one big end of the world metaphor and it is very trippy. My husband picked up this hardback but missing its cover version of The Da Vinci Code. I actually like this book. I wasn't head over heels in love with it, but I enjoyed it. I never felt any urge to read the rest of the books, though. Okay. Ella Enchanted by Gail Carson Levine. I love this book. A very cute, well-done, retold fairy tale. I do not like this cover. It's kind of weak, but I don't own a copy of this book yet, so I grabbed it. Finally, I got March, the first book in the House of Night series by PC Cast and Kristen Cast. It has been years since I read this book, but I remember liking it, so that's why I grabbed this. I've never gone on to read any more of this series, though. Should I? Is it any good? That is the haul. Can anyone suggest a really beautiful edition set of the Chronicles of Narnia? After 60 years, they have to have some really gorgeous versions, right? 